After they were released from prison, they both told me how they would they would listen to Radio Free Asia, they would listen to, to the BBC, and they would hear things about their case. The information would get into prison to them about how much people were paying attention, and they said that that is really what kept them going, is that knowing that they weren't suffering in silence, suffering in the dark with no one paying attention. They, they were very much aware of how much we were doing to try to get them out, even if they didn't know all the specifics. So they didn't feel lost and they didn't feel hopeless, which is really critical when you're yes. sitting in a prison that's actually called insane prison. The Hearing, a legal podcast from Thomson Reuters.